On behalf of the Ed Lally Foundation and in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, I'm going to offer a series of four meditations released on a weekly basis on Tuesdays throughout the month. Uh, these meditations are going to be accessible to everyone, regardless of if you've ever practiced meditation before or if your headspace is anxious or depressive. As many of you know, that was my background, depression and anxiety. Uh, so I certainly understand uh, those of us who believe that we cannot meditate. However, the practice is accessible to anybody and it is um, it will prove, if you stick with it, it will prove cathartic in ways that you never uh, could have dreamed. So we're going to get right to it. Uh, find yourself a comfortable meditation posture. That could be sitting up in a more traditional posture. Uh, you could sit in an office chair. You could uh, lean up against a wall or you could lie down flat on your back. You want to have a meditation posture that is going to embody wakefulness while also uh, being comfortable. Most of us have enough going on in our headspace. We don't need to worry about uh, having some perfect, fancy meditation posture. So take a few moments to do so, and then uh, come to a place of stillness. And I would invite you at this point to close your eyes. We will start our meditation together with three deep breaths. So let's inhale through the nose and sigh it out. And again, inhaling through the nose and sigh it out. And lastly, inhale through the nose and sigh it out. So returning to your normal natural breath at this point, just start to direct your attention, your awareness to your breath. Focus on the sensation of breathing on the inhale and the exhale. And naturally, the mind will wander. We accept that the mind's going to wander. We're not trying to stop our thoughts in meditation. So we accept that the mind wanders. We notice whenever it does. And then we just gently, without judgment, return ourselves to the breath, to the present moment. It doesn't matter how often the mind wanders. It doesn't matter what it wanders off to. We just notice whenever it does and then gently steer it back to our breath. Our breath will serve as our meditation anchor, our focal point in the present moment, our home base. We just notice whenever we find ourselves lost in thought and return to our anchor, to our home base, to the present moment, focusing on the sensation of the inhalation and the exhalation. There's various aspects of the breath that we can direct our attention to. Perhaps the belly. As you breathe in and out. Notice the belly, the abdomen rising on the inhale and falling on the exhale. We could focus on the sensation at the lungs, feeling into the expansion of the lungs as you inhale and the release as you exhale. Noticing the breath as experienced at the mouth and nose Feeling into the sensation of the inhale and the exhale as the air grazes across the skin. You might notice as you inhale, the air is a bit cool and as you exhale, it's a bit warmer. Just focusing on the breath Noticing when you're lost in thought and then making the conscious choice to let go of that thought and return to the breath. Remaining connected to every breath in and every breath out. One breath at a time we cultivate, we realize 
great capacity for self-acceptance. So if we have aches or pains in the body, we just accept them one breath at a time. We can address them by adjusting our posture, then feeling free to do so. Otherwise, experience the sensation of that ache or pain while remaining connected to every breath in and every breath out. We accept ourselves emotionally, not trying to change, manage, or control our emotional state but rather feeling how we feel and simply breathing through those feelings with those feelings. Accepting our headspace exactly as we find it. If thoughts are racing, then so be it. There are persistent thoughts, stories in our headspace that call and compel our attention, and so be it. Just noticing and then returning to the breath as often as we need. Accepting and allowing our inner world to be as it is. Not trying to stop thoughts or repress emotions. But rather watching those thoughts and feeling those emotions. One breath at a time. Accepting ourselves just as we find ourselves. One breath at a time. Letting go of our resistance to this present moment. Letting go of our resistance to our thinking mind. Our resistance to our emotions. Our resistance to our aches and pains. Accepting ourselves just as we are. one breath at a time. Inviting ease into our experience through our willingness to be present with ourselves just as we are. Not pushing against our thoughts, not believing our thoughts, just watching our thinking mind from the vantage point of our breath and this present moment. The mind wanders, we notice. and return one breath at a time. Connected to the inhale, connected to the exhale, fostering a shift from thinking to feeling and sensing. Surrendering to this present moment. Observing and allowing this present moment. One breath at a time.
remaining in this space of meditation as long as you'd like. When ready, just inviting a bit of wakefulness into the body, perhaps wiggling the fingers, the toes, moving the head from side to side. And as you're ready, gently opening the eyes. It was about a 10 minute meditation and it may have been peaceful for some, it might have been frustrating for others, emotions may have serviced. It is all meditation. It's all this practice of willing acceptance of how we are and through that willingness to be present with ourselves as we are. We will garner this ability to cope with our depression, our anxiety, our stress. And eventually, with time and continued practice, we will find healing. Thank you.